this video. Okay, so let's get at it. So we have Ohm's law. So a law that states that the current flowing in an electric circuit is directly proportional to the impressed electromotive force applied to the circuit and the and inversely proportional to the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So it is formulated by George Simon Ohm. That's why the namesake of the law is uh, is in honor of him. Okay. So Ohm's law, as we know, so that is um, by definition. So we'll be using a pen here. So in a circuit or in a system, uh, electrical system, so current is uh, we'll just erase this one. So we will first discover or first formulate the formula by the law itself. So that, that is current is directly proportional to the impress EMF or impress electromotive force or the other term for electromotive force is voltage and inversely proportional to the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So this is the mathematical um, formula of Ohm's law. So we are going to solve for the constant of proportionality or we are going to determine the, const, uh, the constant of proportionality in order for the, for the statement of the law to become an equation. And by experimenting, it's found out that it's equal to one, um, 1 volt per resistance. So it is in unity. So that's why we, the Ohm's law that we are known now is equal to current is equal to voltage over resistance. So this is basically the formula of Ohm's law where the constant of proportionality K is equal to 1 is equal to 1. So that is 1 ampere this, uh, ohms per volts so this is the formula for ohm's law so in a in a circuit so basically in a circuit we are now talking on dc circuit so we will there are three most common quantities which is stated in the ohm's law so we have our i is the current our v is the voltage or the electromotive force and our r is the resistance now, for example, in a given problem, so we are looking for the current. So, if you if the given is the voltage and the resistance, then you can use the formula I is equal to V over R. You can use that directly. Now, what if the uh, given is the I and the the I and the R, so the current and the resistance. So you can still solve for the voltage by Ohm's law. So that will be equivalent to voltage is equal to I times R by using uh, basic algebraic manipulation. So this is if your voltage is unknown. Now if the given is the um, current, and the voltage so how will you solve for the resistance okay, so by using again algebraic mani manipulation of this formula this one here so we could say that resistance is equal to v or the voltage over the current or v over i so this formula are the other alterations of Ohm's law depending on what is required on the problem or what is missing on the circuit. Now, these three formula are much harder to memorize. So that's why there is a technique. So we will use the Ohm's law Ohm's law triangle.
So, Ohm's law triangle. So, you will draw a triangle. Then, you will divide the triangle into three parts. So, one triangle in the upper. Then, you have two. Um, this is a uh, trapezium in the um, bottom to trapezium. So, we have here, we we'll write here the voltage or V. And here is the current and this part is the resistance. So, what is the purpose of this Ohm's law triangle? So, for example, if the one missing is the voltage so we, or the current, so we just start with the current. So, the required in the problem is the current. So, you just cover the current, the I, in the triangle. So, we cover the I, the letter I in the triangle. We cover that one. So, what is left for you is V, then you have a slash, then down is the R. So, how to interpret that one? So, I, because I is missing, so it is equal to V. The slash is over R or V divided by R. So if we are going to write that one, so let's get back our pen. So I, because this is the one missing, is equal to V over R. And you have the, the same formula, but this time we are using the Ohm's law triangle. Now how about if you are going to look for D? Voltage. So, voltage now is the one missing or the one that is required in the problem. Now, because we will cover V, so what is left is I and R. So, we have V because our I and R are adjacent. So, magkatabi lang dalawa. So, that is multiply. So, I times R. And you you have now two formulas which is similar sa mga kinuha nating formula kanina. Then we have R. So if our R or the resistance is required, so what we will do? We'll just cover R. Takpan na natin to. So we have V slash I. So that is V over I. So R is equal to V over I. And that is how you will memorize the alterations or the formulas of Ohm's law. So, I am not a uh, fan of deriving the formula by using algebra mm, that, because it will take some time. So, you just try this technique using the Ohm's law triangle. So, cover what is required in a problem and if and if is uh, and if it is um, quantity over another quantity or voltage over a certain quantity then that is divide and if the two are adjacent then that is multiplication and you will now have your formula without memorizing uh, any of it okay now we will proceed to electrical power so electrical power is the rate of using electrical energy so the unit for electrical power is watts so what is equivalent to one joule of energy in one second so we can say from this statement that power so we'll use p for power is equal to one joule per second so that is work per uh work uh formula okay so narito. okay so work in one second so that is per unit time so that is basically the formula for power so this is equivalent to so kung yung mga units ang ipaghahambing natin so what's is equal to joules per second. So, this is a very important um, thing to remember kasi kadalasan um, 
sa exam, nakukonvert tayo from Joule, uh, from Watts to Joule per second or from Joule per second to Watts. And it is also noted, no? Kaya nga ating tandaan na may iba ding unit ang power sa electricity. That is the to HP, which is force force power. So this horse power is equivalent to so one HP. So one horse power is equivalent to seven hundred forty six watts. So that is the equivalent of one horse power. Okay. So we have also electrical energy. So that is the capacity to do work. So, so because electrical energy is also work itself, so the formula for electrical energy is we have W is equal to P times T. If you remember in the previous slide, so our P is equal to W over T. So if we just use algebra, to malipat dito sa kabila, so that will be multiplication. That is now the formula for your electrical energy, where W is the unit is in joule, your P is in watts, and your T is in seconds. Okay, so we will go back uh, to the uh, go back one slide. So there is the uh, there is another formula for power, which is um, uh, in which we will be connecting power to the quantities present in the circuit and that is the voltage the resistance and the current so connecting the formula of power to the uh, to the concept or to the formula we got from ohm's law so power so by definition of voltage, so voltage is the work done. So we could say that power is equal to voltage. The work done by a certain, uh, the work done on a column of charge. So by a column of charge. And current is the number of electrons or the charge per second. Okay, so that. That is, uh, power is equal to V times I. So let's just check this one by using our units. So we have watts. So the unit for watts is, uh, the unit for power is in watts. The unit for voltage, the equivalent units. No? So we have, this is joule per column. And our current, so this is our voltage. And for the current, this is I. So we have, that is the number of electrons. So that is the number of column per unit time, which is in second. So, makakancel natin yung column. So, our unit is equal to joule per second, which is the equivalent unit of watts na dito sa baba. So, the formula for power in terms of voltage and current is P. P is equal to V times I or power is equal to voltage times the current. So, dito naman tayo sa kung what if sa circuit, um, this certain quantity is missing. So, you can use algebra. So, for example, if the voltage is missing, by algebraic manipulation that is P over I. Then, what if ang hinahanap is uh, current? So, by algebraic ma manipulation, so I is equal to P over V. Or, you can also use another triangle that is the power triangle. So, power triangle. Okay. This is um, P sa taas, so V, I, so ganun pa rin, if 
Pinahanap ang t, takpan ang t, magkatabi yung i, so sila i, multiply. So, p is equal to v times i. If missing ang v, so takpan ang v, so nasa baba ang i, nasa taas ang t, so that would be v or voltage is equal to power over current. So, i naman ang ating kailangan, so the one required is i, so that will be i is equal to p over v. Okay. So, mag, magdagdag muna tayo ng slide. Okay. So, ito na yung may bagong slide na tayo. So, kung yan is as, uh, ano muna, islot na natin ang mga circuit bago tayo pumunta sa ating um, problem. Okay. So, we have Uh, the triangle pala circuit okay so we have so we have v this is i times r then dito naman is we have uh, p so sa baba is v at i okay so sa pag pag um, remember or sa pag Uh, papatanda dito ng ano ng dalawang triangle nito the ohms triangle the power triangle so itong nasa baba they are interchangeable so pwede naka r times i or r i or i v pwede lang yan basta importante yung nasa taas ay v para sa ohms triangle at p para sa power triangle okay so kung nyari meron tayong circuit na ang given ay p at i tapos hahanapin natin ang wait ko muna bakit nag equals yan hahanapin natin ang current ay uh, current um resistance no hahanapin natin ang resistance okay so the required is resistance so there is a shorter way of solving this one so that is by using um the Ohm's law wheel which consists of 12 equations so if makakaya niya i-memorize pwede rin pero dapat talaga i-memorize yun kasi hindi yung, hindi yung pwedeng dalhin during the exam so as for me mas advisable sa akin na gamitin yung dalawang triangle and just use a little bit of knowledge of algebra or kahit, kahit nga ano um, um, isolve mo na lang directly yung problem okay so ganito So, kunyari yung power natin is 10 watts. Tapos, yung current natin is 2 amperes. Yun. So, hahanapin natin ngayon ang resistance ng isang circuit. Okay. So, Balik tayo sa ating ohms to triangle at sa ating um, power triangle. So, walang direct na connection between the two. Walang, hindi pwede na given yung power at yung current, masasolve dito yung R. Yung lagi mo tayo, hindi yan pwede. So, ang kailangan mo yung isipin is ang R nasa ohms law triangle. So, anong kailangan mo para masolve ang R if gagamitin mo ang Ohm's Law Triangle. So, ang kailangan mo ay current at voltage. Yung current natin is given, pero yung voltage is unknown. So, hindi mo agad-agad magagamit ang Ohm's Law Triangle. So, paano yan? So, if pupunta ka sa kabilang triangle, sa power triangle, nan nandito yung voltage. Pero dapat meron kang power at current. So, sa ating example, given ang power at ang current. So, pwede mo ngayong masolve agad ang voltage. So, voltage is equal to, so, takpa natin to Ito siya, takpa natin yung V. So, that is P over I. At, substitute natin ang given. Our power is 10 watts. Our current is 2 amperes. So, you will now have 5 volts. So, 
na solve mo na ngayon ang voltage. So, balik ka sa power triangle, meron kang current na 2 amperes, meron kang voltage na 5 volts na na-solve mo. So, pwede mo nang ma-solve mo yun ang resistance na talagang hinahanap nyo sa problem na to, which is the required. So, your R, by using the Ohm's law triangle, takpan natin to. So, R is equal to V over I. So, you have tinakpan natin to. So, ang natitira is V at ang I. So, V at I. So, V over I. So, substituting or substituting, substituting. So, we have our V is 5 volts. Yung na-solve natin. Our current, our I is 2 amperes which is one of the given. So, you have 5 divided by 2 that is equivalent to 2.5 ohms at ang unit ng resistance is ohms at nasolve mo na ngayon ang kailangan okay so dagdag pa tayo ng isang example so para talaga ma-utilize natin yung technique na to at sa mga later naman na mga discussion is uh, sa solve problems na part ng video masasolve din tayo ng mga ganito itong problem din medyo madami na din ganito Okay, so for example, ang given natin is the uh, current which is equivalent to um, 10 amperes. Tapos, ang may given din ang R which is equivalent to, for example, sabihin na natin um, 2 ohms. Okay. So, ang hahanapin natin, ang required sa problem is the power. Okay. So, if we're going back to the power triangle, so if makita natin yung power triangle dito, in order to solve for the power, ang formula natin is dapat P, so takpan natin to P, V times I, kasi magkatabi yung V at I so meron tayong I 10 amperes, kaso wala tayong V so kailangan natin isolve ang V so pag titingnan naman natin yung Ohm's low triangle ito so meron tayong V meron ding I at R so pwede natin masolve yung V kasi yung V yung hinahanap natin using the Ohm's low triangle so that is I times R. So, given yung I, 10 amperes, at given din yung R, which is 2 ohms. So, pwede natin masatitute yan. So, we have 10 amperes times 2 ohms. So, we have 10 times 2, this is equal to 20, at ang unit ng voltage is volts okay so meron natin yung voltage given ang current so pwede natin magamit tong formula na to itong formula na to so you have P is equal to V times I so you have uh, V times I so your V is 20 volts yung na solve natin and your I is equal to 10 amperes, which is one of the given. So, 20 times 10, so that is equivalent to 200. So, the unit per power is watts. And, nasolve mo na ngayon ang kailangan sa problem. Okay. So, sa part ng sa video natin about solve problems, so, uh, the problems will be given na isosolve ko the problems will be given in the worded uh, worded problem katulad nung talagang lalabas sa exam so this is just an overview on how to use this technique using the Ohm's law triangle and the power triangle and and that is all for our discussion for today about uh, Ohm's law so I hope na may natutunan kayo and I hope 
uh, you will be able to master this technique. So this technique is very useful, lalo lalo na during the exam or uh, the uh, most of the problems involving uh, involves Ohm's law and the power formula. So thank you for watching, and as always, um, in order to pass the exam, keep studying.